this sequencing question is actually a really good one, a really educational one on the subject of sequences. And, and let's write some stuff down here. So the first number on the list, and sequences are what? Really a list of numbers, the values of which are often determined, are usually determined by an equation, lots of different possible equations. And we pronounce these items T sub 1, T sub 2, T sub 3, etc. So the number on the list is labeled 1, 2, 3. And we could use the letter T, or we could, we could call them X sub 1. We could say A sub 1. You can use any letter you like. But what's important is which number we're talking about on the list from left to right. If there's a formula, we want to know the formula. And we want to know at least one of the values of items in the sequence. Let's erase some of this. Now, what are we given here? At the end of the list here, we see T sub N. What does that mean? It means that there are an infinite number of values on the list, on the, in the sequence. And we are given a formula to determine the value of any given item on the list. And it is T sub N equals T sub N minus 1. What does that mean? Well, T sub N minus 1 is just the number that comes before T sub N. So any value is equal to the value that came before it minus 3. That's our formula. And we're told more. The value of the first item, T sub 1, is 23. Well, if we know that, with this equation, we can find the value of any other item on the list. Now, what exactly are they asking for? They are asking for which item, T sub, T sub what, would have a value of negative 4? T sub what? T sub what? So maybe I'll write, I don't know, a parentheses. Well, there are a few ways to solve this. Quite honestly, the quickest way, and the way most people do it, is to simply do some counting. To get from 23 all the way down to negative 4, how many times would we subtract 3? Well, we'll just count them out. T sub 2 would be 20, T sub 3, 17, T sub 4, 14, T sub 5, 11, T sub 6, 8, T sub 7, 5, T sub 8, 2, T sub 9, negative 1, T sub 10, negative 4. So T sub 10, T sub 10. The question is, when you reach negative 4, what is the value of n? Well, it's, it's 10. That's probably the quickest way to answer the question. Now, there are other ways to do it. We could have said, well, to go from 23 to negative 4, if we're at, let's say, at the top of the hill, so to speak, and we're going to keep going steps down until we reach negative 4, how far down did we go? Well, the difference between 23 and negative 4 is 27, is 27. If we divide that by 3, that is essentially nine steps, nine steps from 23 all the way down to negative 4. We started at T sub 1. To go nine steps to the right would bring us to T sub 10. So that's another way you could think about it. And the math here would be what? 23 minus 3 times, not N, but N minus 1. We started with 23. That was T1. And then we subtract 3 how many times? N minus 1 times. Nine times. So we could, we could write it out that way as well. If that made sense and you'd like to watch more videos, go to our channel, click on the column that says playlists. You'll see lots of explanations how to solve problems on practice test two, practice test one, as well as in the future, lots of math problems on the GMAT official guide 2020 and beyond, 2021 and beyond. So be sure to subscribe to the channel. It's all free. If you found this video helpful, click the like button, share it with your friends who are taking the GMAT, and we'll see you in the next video.